guys all right so I mean you see it LS2 carbon challenger FF327 is the model number See, we got the top air, front air, all this good stuff. Yeah. This dope box or this dope bag that comes with it, guys, is nasty. You know, we always did. All right, that's cool. I'm pretty sure these are the shields that'll like go on the front of the helmet. That if it's like super buggy out, you can rip them off. Yep, yeah, sure is. Oh no, nah, that's just the. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Yeah, not 100% sure on that. We'll have to do a little research on that. I'm not sure. This is cool. This little bag. Um, it's like a bag for your neck or cushion for your neck under the helmet. You uh, probably blow it up, obviously, and then it fits underneath your helmet. Cool. Uh, some dope uh, little things if you wear glasses, so you can see how I wear glasses. Then all this other little stuff that came on it. The LS2 sticker, I gotta put that somewhere. All right, who cares about this stuff? You guys want to see the actual helmet again. If you didn't see part one, part one was not labeled the unboxing of this LS2 Challenger. It was unboxing of all my GoPro stuff and the the stuff I got for the Moto Vlog. But let's get over here to the helmet. LS2 Challenger, full carbon. Dope has got boom bam, and that joker works great. On the front, you got all closed, uh, partially open and fully open. You got the vents up here, push back, they're open. In here, push down, it's open. Uh, these uh, exits back here, I keep those open, just keep it flowing. So, my major complaint was, originally was this strap should be a clip strap shouldn't be a traditional strap this should all be one piece on the newer versions they did give me money back because they recognized they sent me the wrong helmet so we're gonna mess with this one for a while it's nasty I don't know if I'm gonna put any stickers on it but give me a minute I'm gonna get out of this helmet and we're going to get the vlog system mounted it's gonna go like right around here. But bear with me for a second and we'll get right back at it. So guys, I did get a couple more things for the mounting process uh, for my moto block setup. Um, I ended up grabbing this 90 degree piece, um, which I don't necessarily know if it's gonna work on this one, um, but I might mess around with it for like two seconds. But uh, because I already have it set up on my old helmet, I set it up for a little demo to see how I was going to set it up. And this is exactly how we're going to do it on this new helmet. It does block the front vent quite a bit, but I actually still get a good amount of airflow through that front vent. So, yeah, that's what we're going to do. I just haven't decided whether we're going to use the curved or the flat. Um, probably gonna be the curb just because we could get away with using the flat and we might I'm gonna mess with it here in a second but I'll go ahead and take this one off Michael's working great after those uh, bolts come in to replace these I'll be able to run power and the mic at the same time, which would be pretty dope for those long rides. Not a bad idea to always have some of these Velcro squares. 
Um, I use them, I've been using them on previous GoPros and RC parts or, or, or some of my RC cars and just to keep stuff held down, but able to detach it really quick. So I also grabbed these clear covers. Comes with like two for the front screen, two for the rear screen. I already installed them on the GoPro. So it's just the screen for the back here and the screen for here since like it's not separate. You don't want to scratch up the original camera, you know. Um, so I got those. But yeah, the hard part here is deciding where and how we're going to mount this guy. You see, I have extra parts out here just in case I need them. And that's going to be it right there on that line. It's like the perfect place for it right there on that line. Once, which once this is gone, I'll be able to open and close that many easier. I still have room to push up my screen. I've already done this a couple times, uh, just so I knew how to go about doing it the right way. And, uh, so if you need to mark it, if you think you can mark it with a Sharpie too, just use rubbing alcohol and it'll take it right off. And it won't harm it. But try to make this one time stick. I don't want to have to like, you know, pry this thing off. So I will be ordering the Linklin Ride Pal 3 tonight, so we'll do an install video on that as well. But this won't take nearly the amount of time. All right, so this comes out, which is awesome. The mic for the comm system runs on the left side, so we're gonna put the mic for Both mics are going to be on the same side because I see where it can fit. All this stuff just clips out. space back here to tuck some wires away. 
So give me one second, I'm gonna get some tape. It is hot out here today, let me tell you. So where are we at? We're at mounting the mic. So um, for this, I'm actually gonna put GoPro on. The GoPro set up on. So like I said, you want to plug in your mic you want to know where it's going to have to go. I'm going to wrap the mic over here. Switch that up to Put that on right there. It's gonna be pressured in there anyways. probably can get away with doubling up and using the tape you already have there, but I'm just going to go ahead and put an extra piece of tape right over that. Anywhere. We'll be right back in here, hopefully inside a week. side over there and this mic will have its own side over here like I said it is hot it's a 
It's all 100 degrees today. Solid. here tucked it underneath this last piece back here this this back neck piece so after i put this uh nose piece in there it'll be tucked up in there away from the sound away from the uh, wind noise excuse me so that's basically the gist of mounting it um, Didn't really need to take off this other side because I'm not going to use it right now. So I'm going to go ahead and install that back in here.
so bam, that's in. Last piece is this one. So now, it's tucked away right there in the front, out of the way. The other mic will come right down in there. So, it's pretty much the grasp of that. I wanted to uh, reattach this mic right here attach it around here and then I'll be done. Once I get these removed and replaced, I'll be able to easily grab my shit. Only other thing I want to do is throw the camera in and then see if there's any points where it's vibrating on the on the helmet. And then I'm gonna toss in a couple of these Velcro pieces just to give it a little cushion.
little bit right there on the front of my little LS tooth logo for my for my face shield. So what I'm gonna do is cut a little square. Let's see if that's good enough. Might be able to go a little smaller. set up for this carbon challenger ls2 it's sexy boy i don't know if i want to put any stickers on it or not it just looks good the way it is we shall have to see but anyways thank you for watching thanks for subscribing liking the page which i hope you did if you didn't do it all that little bit helps and um that's the that's the ls2 carbon challenger um i'll get you guys on the next ride that is not 100 degrees out and we'll be rocking the ls2 challenger probably tomorrow for bike night so stay tuned and if we want to cruise before bike night i'll uh, include you guys on that if not i'll include you guys on bike night and my ride before so I hope you enjoyed the riding I did today on my old helmet with the vlog set up, with the moto vlog set up. And uh, I hope seeing this LS2 Challenger, which is, uh, man, I just encourage you to look it up on, uh, also on here on YouTube. And uh, the company does a very descriptive, in-depth, um, detailed video just about the technology behind the helmet. And um, I would encourage you to watch that because I've watched that a couple times just to um, just to reassure myself about getting it. But the helmet hit me right at $400, which is right there on the borderline of good and better. Um, I can't wait to ride with it some more. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.